Hey, what's up friends? I pray and hope that you guys are doing well. Real quick, I just wanted to let you know that if you have a CDL license, whether you are out of training or you already have experience and you think JB Hunt may be a good fit for you, I encourage you to send me your name and your phone number. My email is moses at driversuccess.com or you can use the link in the description below. It's the very first link. It will take you to my website and there will be a form that you can uh, fill out. That form will come with your information to me. I will ask Susan to give you a call uh, so that she can see what is available in your area. Again, remember this is for those of you that are just out of training and for those of you that have experience and those of you that may be interested like in um, if you are an own operator and you want to see if you can bring your truck to JB Hunt, uh, again, just reach out to me. I will ask Susan to give you a call and then Susan will see what is available in your area. All right, friends, let me get, leave you get to the video. I'll talk to you soon. Hey, what's up, friends? It's Moses. I hope and pray that you guys are doing well. Just getting here. I have an empty with me. This is my first load. Uh, just starting my week and I just got an empty from the yard here at KCS but uh, the line I don't know if their system is down or something like that so hopefully it doesn't take me long to get out of here we'll see this place is so full some of the containers are packed like that that right there is the one I'm picking up it's partially blocked by these two trailers so i kind of need to move them a little bit back thankfully they don't have any containers there i'm gonna push them back a little bit so i can pull that out for you not to waste a lot of time if you are doing something as simple as that just hook the red line just take it off the ground just a little bit push it off unhook you are done thought I would be able to do this to finish up the video yesterday but somehow I got caught up uh, it got dark and I wasn't able to finish the video because what I wanted to talk to you about was for those of you that in, uh, a, have either come to JB Hunt and are still new or are planning on coming to JB Hunt I just want to kind of give you an understanding of the workflow especially if you come to the intermodal department. I want to give you a uh, kind of um, an understanding of the workflow. That way uh, your transition can be a little bit easier because um, I do get drivers that I kind of say that they are confused sometimes. Uh, it becomes too, too much for them in the beginning. First and foremost, you need to give it time. By the way, don't mind about this right there. Uh, it's daddy time with daughter. My daughter thinks I'm cute and so do I so just don't mind that don't let it distract you that's my daughter's doing anyway um so the workflow again as I said when you begin it may be a little bit confusing or you may be wondering what do I need to do so I'm just going to give you a general basic understanding of the workflow so that you kind of think about it that way in your head so when you pick up a load uh what you need to understand is at Intermodal, what we do is we pick up loads from the rail and drop them at customers. We get uh, loads from customers, whether it's a live uh, load or a live um, or a drop and hook. We get loads from customers and we take them to the rail. That is it. From the rail to customer, from customer to rail. Now, every now and then you may get a load coming from one rail to another rail. That will be called across town. Or they may just tell you to move an empty from uh, maybe a customer to the rail or to, um, to, to the yard. Uh, especially when it's low, they will have us do like empty moves. But from the most part, for the most part, it is from rail to customer, from customer to rail, or from rail to rail, which again, that is across, uh, across 
aka what is it now i'm thinking of cross country uh what do we call it a uh, cross cross town we call it a cross town or it it, it may be a load that maybe a driver uh, got from the customer dropped it at the yard and then they want you to in get it to the yard so basically what you have to think about is anytime you uh, get a load from the rail to the customer when you get to the customer the first thing you want to do is to do your arrival call you want to do that as fast as possible because that uh, the moment you get there you want that time to be recorded in um, in the app or on the tablet that you have arrived at that particular time it is very important for you to record that time so as when you get there the first thing you want to think about is arrival calls so whether you are getting there to drop a load or you are getting there to pick up a load anytime you get to a customer remember the first thing you want to do is to do your arrival call the reason why that is important is because if you get delayed you will have to put in what we call an exception and it will be a detention exception and the way they go with uh with that time they can look and see what time your loaded call or unloaded i mean your time your arrival call is so that's when they will start to know so that they can know uh what time if you put in like an exception and you say oh i was late by a customer for three hours they're gonna look back and say okay let's say if let's see if it's really three hours so they are gonna go by that arrival call so you always want to remember that so remember anytime you get to a customer do your arrival call now when it's time to leave of course you're gonna do your uh you know like loaded call or unloaded call so from the time you arrive to the time you do your loaded or unloaded call that's when they are going um that's that's the time they look at so if you have an exception that is to do with detention those times are very critical the other thing that you have to remember that times are paid detention is paid in increments of 15 minutes so for drops and hooks you have an hour so from the time you make your arrival call to the time you make your unloaded call if it's more than an hour for a drop and hook always remember to put in what they call uh, an exception um, f re remember to put in what they call an exception and in that case it will be a detention right so that any time after an hour you get paid for that time if it is a live um, so like a live unload or a live load then any time after one and a half hours you have to put in that exception so you get paid for that time again they are going to go by the time from uh, the time you made your arrival call until you make your unloaded or loaded call so any time after that you will, you should be paid for any time you spend after that and remember the payment is going to be in increments of 15 uh, 15 minutes now regional drivers are kind of a little bit different from local drivers but let's say you come off time right uh, you you went home for maybe time off and then you come on duty the first thing you do before you leave home you always want to look at your app and see if you have a pre-plan on you because you should have a pre-plan on you so when you see that pre-plan you are going to know where you're going to go so you're gonna know whether your load is at the rail or you're gonna go uh, pick up uh, from a customer or whether your load is at the at the yard so whatever it is say for example you are going to pick up for a customer from a customer so when you get to the you want to leave home knowing exactly what you're gonna do so when you get to the yard all you know that at that time you just want to do your pre-trip uh, whatever paperwork you, are, uh, you, you you need to do like in the truck and then if you need to go pick up uh, maybe paperwork from the office so you need to talk to the, your manager go do that but at that time what you want to do is to go look for an empty so that you can go and start your work uh, if the load is at the yard and you you at the terminal you have an office there you may want to go in the office maybe get paperwork in case you don't have paperwork for it or whatever it is but the trick here is anytime 
you are starting out with looking for an empty, just go ahead and start looking for an empty. When you find an empty, send them a message letting them know what your empty number is. Don't wait for them to respond because they take uh, they may take uh, time for them to respond. As soon as long as you know where you are going, find an empty. Uh, send them a message to let them know what your empty is. In that case, you uh, you always send in your container number and your chassis number, and then start moving. When they get that information, they are going to put that empty on you, and they are gonna uh, dispatch you. But at that time, you have already started uh, moving because you want to save your time. So when you get to the customer, make your arrival call. As soon as you get loaded or unloaded, uh, look and see whether you need to be paid for detention or if you're okay. Now, here is another trick that I I'm going to share with you guys. Say, so for example, you look at the clock and you realize, okay, I got here at 1 o'clock and right now it is, say, let's say it's 1 or 5, right? If you put in your loaded call at 1 or 5, when you got there at 1 and you say this is a drop and hook, right? You got there at 1, and then you are leaving at 1 or 5. If you make your loaded call at 1 or 5, that means they are not going to pay you for anything. Be uh, so those 5 minutes you've wasted, uh, they are not going to pay you for, this, for, the, for it. But here is a trick I'm going to share with you. If you wait for 2 more minutes, and you make your loaded call at 1 or 7, or you make it at 1 or 8, just by waiting for, for those 2 minutes, then you can charge them for 15 minutes. It is something that could be small, but it's something that could add up because think about it. You have spent uh, five minutes extra more than an hour. If you just wait for two more minutes uh, and you get to the seventh minute, it's going to count as you being there for 15 minutes. JB Hunt will gladly pay you for that. So always pay attention to those small things. Um, I don't remember exactly where those increments are, but I think the increments are like at uh, the uh, seventh minute, every like seventh minute. So uh, again, if you are new, ask somebody that, um, I don't remember the exact numbers, but ask somebody that has been here for a while, they will be able to explain those, or just uh, shoot me a message or send me an email, I'll give you the exact uh, numbers. I forget them from the top of my, my head. But those 15 minutes can add up. So you make your loaded or unloaded call. You want to start move, uh, moving right away. If you get to a, po a place where maybe like they don't have empties and you need to look for an empty, here is the trick you want to do. Learn the places where you always can find empties. Uh, as you make drops and as you make uh, pickups from customers, try to learn places uh, that usually have empties where you make drops and where you make pickups look around and see when you are making drops and uh, and, and pickups and see which customers allow us to drop uh, trailers and look at how many trailers they usually have like uh, you, you don't have to go and get out of your truck to look i mean you can just sense by looking at customers you can know which customers are big you can know which customers usually have empties you want to make a mental note of that because when it's time to look for an empty you want to always remember where you are. We always go to the same customers most of the time. So you want to remember where those customers are. And as you remember where those customers are, may make a mental note of them. So that when you are look, when it's time to look for an empty, if you go to a customer and they don't have an empty, send um, dispatch a message and ask them, hey, where do you think I can find an empty for my next pickup or for my next, uh, yeah, for my next pickup? Now send them that message, but start driving to go to where you think you can find an, an empty because sometimes they are going to take long to answer. So don't ask them and then stay there waiting for them to answer. They will take time to answer. So what you want to do is for you to kind of think, in this place, where can I find an empty? Send them a message just in case you don't find an empty where you think the empty is. So that way you, you, have, you are looking for an empty, but they are also looking in the system to see if they can, if they know of where you can be able to find uh, some. Because sometimes they will tell you, they will even, uh, 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 there are many situations where I have known where to find empties, yet when dispatch uh, sends back, I read their message, they are sending me to places that don't have empties. So that's something uh, to always remember. Make a mental 
um, you know, like note of where you can always find empties. And always remember when you are asking dispatch a question, ask them a question, but keep on moving. As much as possible, try to keep on moving because remember, we are being paid by the activity so that even as you are looking for, for the empty, remember you are being paid by those miles. So don't sit there waiting for dispatch to answer you. Just uh, try as much as possible to look for the empty. Um, the other thing that you always have to remember, if you are doing anything or something and you think you should be paid for it, chances are there is an exception for it. So don't just assume that uh, it's not being paid. So if they tell you to do something and you are thinking you have wasted time doing that thing, talk to your manager and tell them, this is what I've been doing. Do I get paid for it or how do I, which exception um, should I put in to get paid for it? Most of the time, the managers understand they will pay you for it. Some of them, the good managers, will even tell you before you ask them, hey, make sure you put in an exception for this. For example, if you come into work, right, you get to work and then you realize maybe your truck, there's something wrong with your truck and then you have to spend like time, uh, maybe they have to find you another truck. You have to talk to your manager about it and if, you, if it has taken you a long time to get you another truck, Talk to your manager about it and ask him or her what exception you can put in so you can get paid for that. Uh, whenever you break down, you start charging them a, 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 um, right away. So, for example, you are on the freeway and uh, you get a tire blow out. As soon as that tire blows out, look at the clock and see what time it is. And then pull over, do whatever you have to do, but um, uh, make sure you take note of that time because you are going to charge them for waiting from that time that uh, the tire blew out they will pay you for that mechanical uh it's a it's a mechanical whatever problem uh, exception that you have to put in so as much as possible learn the exceptions that we have remember we get paid by the loads we get paid by the mile we get paid by the activities so anytime you are doing something and you think you should be paid for it, chances are you should be paid for it. So the idea here is to ask if um, you can ask the trainer uh, that trained you, you can ask your manager or feel free to send me a message, especially for those of you that are, uh, are within the intermodal local. Uh, even for those of you that are regional, I know there are some differences. I didn't know, but there are some differences within uh, local and regional, but at least I will be able to tell you, to give you some idea or to uh, to tell you to ask um, uh, your manager about it. And uh, that way you are not leaving any money at the table. For those of you that are thinking of coming to join JB Hunt, I encourage you to send me your name and your phone number and your zip code. I work with Susan. Susan is really good at what she does. She will make sure that she calls you as soon as possible. Uh, she, will, uh, she will find out what your needs are and then she will see how she can help uh, put you in the best position that is available for your situation. All right, guys, until next time, stay blessed and stay safe. Bye-bye. A husband, father, Christian and truck driver Telling you my story and the world through my eyes So keep the faith, keep the faith. let's keep it fresh, keep it fresh. And this is, this driver, is success. driver Success, yeah uh, Let's go